What's up, brother? What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to the channel. As you can tell, I'm in a car with some of my college buddies, all right? This is the annual trip that we take, kind of like at the end of the ice fishing year, uh, where we meet up with just some college friends, drink some bush lights, and have a good time and try to catch some fish while camping on the ice. So for the next about three days or so, I'm gonna take you guys along for that crazy adventure. We're actually going through a company called Ice Houses by NCD, which you can check them out in the link below. I'll give you a tour of everything once we get on the lake. Right now we're waiting for my good buddy Nick to get here. Uh, he's gonna introduce himself, tell a little bit about what he does, and then bring us to the shack that we're gonna be spending the next three days. But guys, before we go any farther, today's video is gonna be brought to you by Anchor. And check out the new power station that the boys sent me, all right? This is the Anchor 535. This is a brand new model and I'm super excited to test it out. I'm super excited to have this thing because now I'm gonna be able to charge my stuff. As you guys know, when I go camping on these really long trips, I need to charge batteries, I need to charge microphones, just a lot of different things, and this is actually really gonna help. They also sent me a smaller version, which is the 521, but right now I left that at home because I thought the 535 was gonna be a better application for this longer weekend. So, looking at the 535, we got a car socket right there, we got this button so you can tell what percent it's at. You know, nice little display screen. USB ports, USB-C ports. We got plugins right there. We also have a bougie little light right there. The first thing I want to say about my new power station is that it is very, very durable. It is actually a lithium battery and it can allow up to 3,000 cycles of full charge. That is six times longer than the average industrial standard. You can charge this puppy to a full charge in about two and a half hours. So if you're in a really big time crunch, no worries, it's gonna charge fast. If you have a mini cooler, you can probably run about eight and a half hours on it. A fan will last you about 11 hours and a 43 inch TV would probably run you about three and a half hours, which is pretty amazing. And the best part is you guys can charge nine devices at once. So if you guys have to charge a lot of things at the same time, you got nine ports to plug something into. And this button right here is the power saving button. So when the anchor system detects that all of your devices attached to it is charged, it's gonna shut off and save battery. And as I was saying, they also sent me a 521 power station, but unfortunately, we did not have enough room in the truck to bring it. So I'll pop up some little facts right here about that one. In case you guys are curious about bringing it, I will say it was a lot more lighter weight uh, it could probably charge a little bit less stuff for a less amount of time But if you're kind of like in a rush to grab something just fast and light that would definitely be a good option for you guys So if you guys would like to check out any of the anchor products I'll leave a link down below where you guys can go and look at them again Huge shout out to anchor for helping out today's video and you're gonna see it's gonna get some use during the next couple of days charging phones cameras and whatever else we need to be charged but right now we're gonna wait till nick gets here and once he gets here we're gonna drive out to the house and i'm excited to show you guys what we will be camping in eventually what's up brother Solid. Well guys, we finally got set up and got to the house. Nick came over and uh, actually got the house ready for us. He helped him out a little bit, but it's been probably about, th about an hour since we last saw you. We finally got everything moved inside of here. And man, this house is pretty cool. Let me give you a quick tour. So we walk in right here and then you look this way. Got a little, I don't know, kind of island right there with a rattle reel. Uh, there's two holes back there and then two holes right here cabinets to store stuff a tv we brought the old xbox to play some games for the weekend more storage up there a bed and then kind of like a bigger bed right here so two people can sleep right there over here we got the radio we got the minnows there more storage more storage we got this lovely little refrigerator right here we open it up we got some stuff in there some graphs garbage and then I brought two rattle reels and I stuck them right here. We got another bed right here and then more cupboards, lights, uh, and then the bathroom was over here. 
Got a nice little toilet right there. And there's even a freaking shower. That's the, This is the first place that I've been where there's been a shower. So that's kind of cool. I doubt we'd be using it, but it's just kind of cool to know we have it. And then we got the oven and the stove, microwave, more cabinets for storage, and a little sink here that's not really working right now. And then we got some pizzas. We're about to throw some pizzas in because the boys are hungry. It's a little bit wet in here right now, so we have to dry this bad boy out. We're gonna have the heat cranked for a little bit. We got three lines down at the moment and uh, just rattle reels with split shots, hooks, and a minnow. If a fish comes and nibbles our little bait, I'll get Grant to set the hook on him, just like last year, if you guys remember that. Oh, he definitely just dropped it. Um, we'll see how that goes, but other than that, we're gonna hang out, pop some pizzas, and just ice can. Mm-hmm. Cheeseburger pizza, boys. Dude, that's good. Grant, you chose a good pizza. Not really much of an update. Haven't had any fish on the rattle reels. Ryan's jigging. He hasn't really marked anything. Uh, we're just playing some college football. I think we're going to turn some TV on and just chill. But made some pizza. Just going to be hanging out. We'll see you at a fish catch or something interesting. Later that same evening. Why you don't go there? Because they do not have a telephone, yeah? Well, as you can see, the homies are cashed out right now. We've just been hanging out, watching some bull rat, and eating some pizza and catching up and having a good time. It is currently 1.53 in the morning, and I think we're going to call it a night. We're going to get some sleep. Uh, as for the fishing goes, it has not been good. I haven't really marked any fish. But we did get here kind of late, which is unfortunate. I'm sorry if you can't hear anything because Borat is just blaring in the background. But about to go to bed. I got three rattle reels down. And I'll let you guys know if we catch a fish. I'll bring out the camera. If not, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. The following day. Can I like leave some pants on? I look like I'm butt ass naked over here. <laughs> oh, I know my pants well, good morning, Grant the alcoholic and Ryan the naked man. <laughs> oh, good morning, guys. It's the next morning. Uh, it is currently, what time is it, Ryan? 8.52 in the morning, zero fish. No fish overnight on the rattle reels. Um, kind of a bummer, but we're gonna start jigging right now. I got the Vex down there, and then I got the Royal Flush, which I'm gonna jig with right there. Ryan, what's for breakfast? Breakfast pizza. All right, so we're gonna get some breakfast pizza on us, and I think the plan is today, we're gonna do a little bit of fish inside here. Our other buddy is gonna show up here around noonish, and then when he shows up here, we might actually uh, go fish a different spot for the day. So it depends on a couple of different things, but I think that's the plan right now. So we'll see you guys whenever I catch fish. One hour later. What up, brother? How's it going? Haven't seen you in a hot minute, eh? Well guys, the last you saw me, we were sitting inside the shack and uh, we decided, you know what, let's go out and jig for him. So we went to a local spot. I'm sure you guys know where this is at. There's no secret, but made it out here fishing like four feet of water. Sam actually is out here. They're actually clapping right now. Absolutely clapping some crappies, perch, all that good stuff. Me and the other boys, we actually set up just over there, which you guys will see in a little bit. They're fishing right now as well. I just wanted to come over here and say hi to Samuel. And uh, yeah, I haven't even started fishing yet. I have zero fish uh, on the ice for myself, but we're gonna change that really soon. So you guys stay tuned. It's gonna get good. That might go down. Well, come on, brother. Hey, let's go. Hey, nice, dude. Crumpet. Let me see that. Look at that thing. Dude, you're a beast, bro. Thank you. I was literally just about to go back to the shack, but I saw Sam. Oh, Sam's about to back up, catch another one. Hey, my guy. Now you're putting on a show, dude. On the dinner bell, too. Really? Oh, yeah. Dude, they love the dinner bell, huh? The dinner bell calls them in, man. So as I was going to say, I was literally just about to leave, but Sam just caught two right there, and I was like, oh, maybe I'll stay over here a little bit and hold the camera. But I am itching to catch some fish. Well, guys, I just made it back to the Ombres and they've caught like three fish already. They're outside of the house. We took all this time to set the house up and be nice. Got the heater set up for them. I come back and they're outside. So that's lit. 
special guest today finally showed up. Did you know I called you a flake? Oh, no way. Oh, a flake. No way. But you caught <laughs> fish. Did you just actually do that? I did that. Okay, well, he's the flake that catches big crappies. Let me see that suck. Oh my god, dude. The flake can fish. <laughs> Shields pro staffer Tyler yeah. Stitch here today. Well, Stitch finally made it here, and he's already clapping fish. You're at three fish now? Three. Two walleyes, one crappie. Well, I haven't caught anything yet, brother. We'll get your line in, man. <sighs> well, guys, I was fishing the shack for a little bit, and it was just straight butt cheeks. So, we decided to go leech off of Sam and come by him. And now we're jigging outside. I have you guys currently attached to a bucket and drinking bush lights. Gonna see if we can catch a fish. There's so many fish down there. That's freak. That a boy. First fish of the day, boys. Oh God, yeah. Hold on, we got a giant school, boys. We got a giant school. I'm getting back down there. Oh, tangled bait, we love that. You want waxies or something? No, I'm going no wax here right now. Oh god, they're here. They're here. They're here, boys. Oh god. That's my first fish. This is uh it's pretty lit. Where am I? Oh there I am. Alright, I got no bait. Are they gonna eat this with no bait? They just hammering wheel here with no bait. Oh here we go, here we go, here we go. No bait boys. No bait boys. All right, all right, we are here. Day is being here right now. <sighs> we'll take them like that. Who, did anybody have a pike on this? Oh, all my fish are gonna go away here. I didn't even feel that one. Get down there, get down there, get down there. Oh, that's a pretty one. Dude, what the hell? That There's so cool. many. You choke it. Oh, he's big? Mm. Oh my god, there's some bigs down here. Like, there's some really big fish down here, guys. This is this is crazy. We moved over here and immediately just started marking fish. Oh my god. Oh my. What? Sometimes they come in screaming. It's unreal. Like that. Oh, yeah, like... What? Like, I've it, never... It, it has been non-stop for the past yes. 10 minutes. Yes, this whole clip has been non-stop. Yeah. Like marking giant, giant crabbies. You just saw that one that um, Kyle just caught. It, it was big. And uh, marking them? yeah, like it's a been lot. Endless. Like a million. Endless. It's nonstop. Well, well, now, now it's done. That one lead. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, that fish would have grabbed that thing. I am on. caught <laughs> somewhere. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> This is insane. Oh my god. Like just giants, guys. Freaking giants. That's a massive mark. Guys, it has been non stop. This is slow. There's literally like usually 500 on the screen. Look at these marks, though. They are massive. Oh god, look at all these. Normally there's like, like you'll have like 10 at a time just come ripping through. It's just like, god, some those, of them. Those are great. Here we go. Oh, this one. Nothing? Yeah, this is like sometimes they bite, sometimes they don't. We're fishing four feet of water, guys. Oh, dude, this is stupid. Sam, come are you guys on. marking? Yeah, every yeah. now and then they just disappear. Yeah. Don't no, dude, it's con. You gotta come look at this. It, it, oh, I, 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 I've came over here for the past 20 minutes and I have not, never seen a fish on the screen. Yeah, it's, it's pretty dumb. You have to, like, see, I don't get how, like, sometimes I just don't bite though. Like, look how big these marks are too. They're just cruising. They are cruising. This one might want it. Yep. Oh. I'm off. All right, homies, as you can tell, this is an 18 minute long clip and it's the fish have been rolling constantly, like absolutely nuts as you saw on the camera. But we got a couple now. This is going good. This is fun. Ryan, are you having fun? Oh God, yeah. 
three hours later. Oh yeah, look at that beautiful sunset. Bam, check out the boys' shack. Let's go see what everybody's doing. Brats. What up, Chef Ryan? Megan Brat. Dude, those look so good. Those are venison, right? They are. They look good, man. Venison wild rice. Ooh. We got the rattle reel, boys. Because <laughs> there's a rattle reel right there. Well, we just made it back to the shack, guys. And I'm sorry for just how crazy everything was. I mean, we were bouncing around. I was trying to film it. Uh, we got on that pretty good school, as you guys saw. Sam was there as well with his buddies. And... It was just, it was hectic. But you know, we did pretty good. We got a good haul of fish. Here comes a walleye. Okay, so sorry. As I was saying before fish came in, uh, we ended up doing pretty good. Terrible job at filming, but I tried my best. We're back in the house making some food. We got the rattle reels down. And we're gonna see if we can catch some walleyes tonight or perch. I think the main target would be walleyes. So hopefully we get some rattle reel catches. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of jigging as well. This is a fun day. Can I get up on you? <laughs> Wow! Jeez, that was aggressive. Is it good though? Real good. Wow. Wow. That cheese in there? Unreal. Chef shock. Hooked it up fat, man. So good. Now some walleyes would be nice. God. Well, we're at round two, so Stitch could watch it. Well, little time update for you. It is 11:34. No walleyes in the house, dude. We are struggling so hard to catch fish inside this house. It is absolutely unreal. The bite's just off on this lake, and you know it's okay. But, uh, you know, if we can wake up to a rattle reel tonight, I'd be super happy. The boys and I are just going to hang out and chill. And then, like I said, if something does happen, I will bust a camera out and film that underwear catches, yada, yada. You guys know the drill. But check it out. You already know I got the anchor charging my stuff. I got the old live scope right there charging and my phone as well. So this thing is looking nice and sexy. I even turned on the eco mode. So once these things are actually done charging, the anchor station will shut off itself and save more battery but we're gonna go to bed and get some sleep i'll see you guys either when we catch fish or tomorrow morning the next morning oh goodness gracious guys it is the next morning and literally grant and tyler left already but we didn't get any fish overnight the bite has been super super tough on the main lake but the place that we've been fishing during the day that you saw yesterday has been pretty good, which we're gonna go there and try catching some more crappies and walleyes and perch and all that good stuff. But that is where we're gonna end today's video. We had an awesome time in the All Ice Castle. And it was a lot of fun just catching up with the college homies because I never really get to see those guys that much because I travel a lot for my job and you guys know what I'm doing all the time. So I don't, it doesn't give me much time to see those guys. So having that opportunity to catch up with some good college friends was awesome and I, I needed it. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you liked today's video, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below as well as hit the like button. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode and we will catch you guys on the next one.